A patient is prescribed amoxicillin 500 mg TID for 10 days. How many capsules will be dispensed? A. 20 B. 30 C. 40 D. 60 Answer, B. TID means 3 times daily. 3 doses times 10 days equals 30 capsules. Which DA form is required for ordering Schedule II controlled substances? A. Form 41 B. Form 106 C. Form 222 D. Form 224 Answer, C. DA Form 222 is mandatory for ordering and transferring Schedule II drugs. A medication order states, metformin 850 mg PO bid. What does PO indicate? A. Intravenous route. B. Oral route. C. Subcutaneous route. D. Intramuscular route. Answer, B. PO stands for per OS, meaning by mouth, oral. Which storage condition is correct for insulin vials not in use? A. Freezer B. Refrigerator C. Room temperature D. Direct sunlight shelf Answer, B. Unopened insulin must be refrigerated to maintain stability. The ISMP's main role in pharmacy practice is A. Enforcing state pharmacy laws B. Promoting medication safety and error prevention. C. Distributing controlled substances. D. Issuing pharmacy technician licenses. Answer, B. The Institute for Safe Medication Practices focuses on preventing medication errors. Which drug is classified as a benzodiazepine? A. Sertraline. B. Lorazepam. C. Atenolol. D. Omeprazole. Answer, B. Lorazepam is a benzodiazepine used for anxiety and seizures. A prescription is written for simvastatin 40 mg QHS. When should the patient take it? A. In the morning. B. At noon. C. At bedtime. D. Every two hours. Answer, C. QHS means every night at bedtime. Which auxiliary label is most appropriate for metronidazole? A. Take with milk. B. Avoid alcohol while taking this medication. C. Protect from light. D. May cause drowsiness. Answer, B. Combining metronidazole with alcohol causes severe nausea and vomiting. What is the maximum number of refills allowed for Schedule II prescriptions? A. 0 B. 1 C. 3 D. 5 Answer, A. Schedule II medications cannot be refilled, a new prescription is required each time. A patient brings in a prescription for warfarin. Which vitamin supplement may reduce its effectiveness? A. Vitamin C. B. Vitamin D. C. Vitamin E. D. Vitamin K. Answer, D. Vitamin K promotes clotting and counteracts warfarin's anticoagulant effect. Which type of drug recall is most serious, involving risk of death or severe harm? A. Class 1. B. Class 2. C. Class 3. D. Market withdrawal. Answer, A. Class 1 recalls involve products that may cause serious adverse health consequences or death. A patient with a sulfa allergy should avoid which drug? A. Ciprofloxacin. B. Sulfamethoxazole slash trimethoprim. C. Amoxicillin. D. Azithromycin. Answer, B. Sulfamethoxazole is a sulfa drug and contraindicated in patients with sulfa allergy. 
A 5 ml oral suspension is prescribed TID for 7 days. What total volume should be dispensed? A. 105 ml B. 100 ml C. 75 ml D. 150 ml Answer, A. 5 ml times 3 times daily equals 15 ml per day. 15 times 7 is equal to 105 ml. Which of the following is an example of a look-alike slash sound-alike drug pair? A. Lisinopril and Losartan. B. Metformin and Metaprolol. C. Celebrex and Celexa. D. Atorvastatin and Amoxicillin. Answer. C. Celebrex, pain slash arthritis, and Celexa, antidepressant, are frequently confused. A laminar flow hood should run for how many minutes before sterile compounding? A. 5 minutes. B. 15 minutes. C. 25 minutes. D. 60 minutes. Answer, B. A laminar flow hood must run at least 15 minutes before compounding to purge contaminants. Which law created the distinction between prescription and over-the-counter drugs? A. Durham-Humphrey Amendment B. Kefauver-Harris Amendment C. Controlled Substances Act D. Pure Food and Drug Act Answer, A. The 1951 Durham-Humphrey Amendment established Rx versus OTC categories. Which drug must be dispensed in its original container due to light sensitivity? A. Metaprolol B. Nitroglycerin sublingual tablets C. Levothyroxine D. Amoxicillin Answer, B. Nitroglycerin is highly unstable and must remain in its manufacturer's amber glass container. Which piece of information is required on all prescription labels? A. Patient insurance provider. B. Patient birth date. C. Directions for use. D. Pharmacy technician's initials. Answer. C. Directions for use are legally required to ensure safe patient administration. A patient with type 1 diabetes requires insulin. Which route is most common? A. Oral. B. Intravenous. C. Subcutaneous. D. Intramuscular. Answer. C. Insulin is typically administered subcutaneously for proper absorption. Which reference would be best for identifying drug interactions? A. Red Book B. Drug Facts and Comparisons C. Orange Book D. USPNF Answer, B. Drug Facts and Comparisons provides detailed drug interaction and comparison data. A 250 ml 4 bag is infused over 2 hours. What is the flow rate in ml hr? A. 100 ml per hour. B. 125 ml per hour. C. 150 ml per hour. D. 200 ml per hour. Answer, B. 250 divided by 2 is equal to 125 ml hr. Which organization assigns national drug codes, NDCs? A. DEA B. FDA C. USP D. CDC Answer, B. The FDA requires and regulates NDC numbers for all medications. Which of the following is an example of tall man lettering to prevent errors? A. Hydroxyzine versus hydralazine B. Insulin versus aspirin. C. Metformin versus ibuprofen. D. Lisinopril versus acetaminophen. Answer A. Tallman lettering emphasizes differences in lookalike names, e.g., hydroxyzine and hydralazine. 
a patient is prescribed furosemide. What electrolyte should be monitored closely? A. Sodium B. Potassium C. Calcium D. Magnesium Answer, B. Furosemide, a loop diuretic, can cause significant potassium loss, leading to hypokalemia. Which schedule of controlled substances has the highest abuse potential with accepted medical use? A. Schedule 1 B. Schedule 2 C. Schedule 3 D. Schedule 4 Answer, B. Schedule 2 drugs, e.g., opioids, stimulants, have high abuse potential but accepted medical uses. Which dosage form is designed for slow drug release over time? A. Immediate release tablets. B. Enteric coated tablets. C. Extended release tablets. D. Sublingual tablets. Answer C. Extended release formulations provide controlled drug delivery over an extended period. A patient receives a prescription for 1.5 G of medication. How many mg is this? A. 15 mg. B. 150 mg. C. 1,500 mg. D. 15,000 mg. Answer. C. 1 G equals 1,000 mg. Therefore, 1.5 G equals 1,500 mg. A pharmacy technician suspects prescription forgery. What should be done? A. Dispense a partial quantity. B. Call the provider to verify authenticity. C. Report directly to the patient. D. Shred the prescription immediately. Answer, B. Verification with the prescriber is the first step to confirm authenticity. Which law requires drug manufacturers to prove safety and effectiveness before marketing? A. Pure Food and Drug Act. B. Controlled Substances Act. C. Kefauver Harris Amendment. D. Poison Prevention Packaging Act. Answer, C. The 1962 Kefauver-Harris Amendment mandated safety and efficacy testing for new drugs. A child weighs 44 pounds. The prescribed dose is 10 mg per kilogram. How many mg should be given? A. 100 mg B. 150 mg C. 200 mg D. 300 mg Answer, C. 44 divided by 2.2 is equal to 20 kg. 20 by 10 milligrams equals 200 milligrams dose.